Hello, it's me again. Today, I'm gonna try and provide a tutorial on how I did my last video using Canva. It's super easy, you just need a little patience and a lot of imagination. Also, I'll provide a background behind the concept of the video and the thought process on the actual execution as we go along the way. I'll leave the exact timestamp of when the actual tutorial starts in the description box below, so let's start. A little background on the concept behind the video. If you saw it, uh, you have seen that it's a montage of photos with the subtitles uh, below the screen. The idea came in because I really hated the sound of my voice. I'm trying to modulate it right now, but it's really high pitched. But I don't have any choice. Uh, this is a tutorial, so I have to actually speak. The initial idea was for me to hold physical cue cards, but I deem it's a waste of paper, waste of, waste of resources. Uh, what if we digitized it, but I wasn't so good idea. So I concentrated on my script first, then I wrote it in Notepad and transferred it into PowerPoint to see the flow and how would I segment it to allow people enough time to read it through. Then I just remembered I have a Canva account which we use for our little food business. So I transferred everything, all 53 frames of it and next what's the idea about the background or what would I show behind it would it be a video or photos if it's a video then I think I need to edit it um, to fit uh, 50 frames if it's just one photo per frame it would be boring so I just thought of doing four pictures per frame so that it would show movement in it would be more dynamic so i guess we could go ahead and get started i'll provide more background as we go along canva so let's open canva if you don't have an account uh, you could always sign up uh, i believe canva provides a 30 day uh, trial before they gave you a choice to actual uh, to purchase the actual full version. If not, you could always go back to the free version. Uh, I believe the free version and the full version would have differences uh, in terms of features, but with the free version, you could do a lot of things already if you have a lot of imagination. We'll start uh, with going to templates and find something for YouTube. What I used was YouTube video. Then you could see a lot of uh, templates that you could use, but for my video, I created a blank YouTube video. So first, uh, as I've uh, said before, I had 53 uh, segments of the uh, of this skill. So we could go ahead uh, and do that uh, on how to add a text. Just click on text, and you could choose add heading, add a subheading, or add a little bit of body text. It doesn't matter. You could always change the size and the font. So for this particular tutorial we're gonna do 50 you could choose to add the size or you could just type in what size you want for the purpose of uh, posting this in YouTube we want this to be a little bigger so that um, everybody can read it we could change the font uh, here's my favorite font so let's type There. 
one good feature or at least nice feature about Canva is that it uh, automatically shows you where the center is like this you could see the violet box and the violet uh, uh, vertical line so here's our first frame uh, we're done if you want to put um, effects to your text you just go to effects and you could choose shadow lift or any other type of um, style for this particular one we want to choose lift and we have our first frame so how to do your succeeding frames you could always add and just copy so the and paste so the placement would be the same across all frames it would be uniform if we play it alone so let's say i'm here to provide a tutorial Or you could also duplicate the frame using this one the three dots here duplicate and we're here we have the third frame and just change the text i'm not a good typist sorry <laughs> Again, duplicate. So if we play this, it would be quite long. Let's try to view this. Hello, I'm Glenn. So that's five seconds times four. It would be twenty seconds per frame. It's quite long. So what we need is to trim it down to like 1 second per frame or maybe 0.5 seconds per frame. So I think 0.5 or 2 seconds per spill is uh, okay to read through. So let's try to do that. So how do we do it? Let's go to the timing here and reduce it up until... Point five. You could just type it actually. tutorial so see it's it's much um, better than the previous one so let me just um, try to change everything okay we're done that took a while as I've said this requires a little patience but um, the end result will be good so we're done um, changing the times to 0.5 seconds for each frame. So right now it's only 8 seconds. So let us play this through. Hello, I'm Glenn. I'm here to provide a tutorial on how I did my last video using Canva. So let's start. So we're done with the spill. So now come the pictures. For this particular video, uh, we'll just use the existing pictures that I uploaded let me just move this here mind you I had to take 212 photos since I had 50 frames times 4 or multiply it by 4 
it's 212. If you have watched it, I'm sure you've noticed that towards the end, I look tired and I'm running out of idea. But I did it um, for almost three hours. I think this was the most time-consuming part. So let's get ahead and do the pictures. Let's just get some random pictures. Uh, I know it won't relate to the steel, but you'll just uh, you'll get the idea. See, it's too many pictures. Okay, alright. So tap on your first one. Click here. Yeah. Just go to your slide and select the pictures that you want. Four, five, six. So we have our pictures. So what we would we do next? Um, you have to set the pictures or set the image as background. All sixteen of it. There, uh, we're done. So, if you would, if you can see uh, the text, uh, we can't read it much. So, I'll leave it up to you uh, to change the color, and we, I think it's pretty obvious how it is. It's done. Just click on the color and click on the right one. So let's try to play this and see how it works. I know it doesn't relate the uh, pictures and this feel but uh, you, you get the idea. So we're almost there. We're just going to try and piece all the parts together then we're there. So let's go to home and see all my designs these are my files uh, that i used for the last video i had three parts because 53 frames times four pictures that's 212 and canva has a limit of 100 frames per file or per um, presentation so i had to do three 100 112 so i have um, three parts so how do we uh, work around the limit of 100 frames per file name uh, we just need to uh, download this into one file and we'll do the same for the other two files and we'll put this three in another file um, you'll get what I mean uh, sorry if it's confusing uh, you'll see what I mean later so on how to download this into a video just click on download mp4 I think it's the only video file available I'm not sure though if it's available for the free version but you could always use the trial version and do your uh, videos on Canva. So download. So it would take a while um, before this would finish. So let's wait. There, it's done. <laughs> okay, so you do that for all the files so i have three so one part two part three and uh let's uh do the finishing uh touches on this one i wasn't able to teach you earlier how to upload your photos but it's fairly simple just go to images uh just go to uploads then images or videos then go to your device then select any file that you want to upload and click on upload but i won't show you that since uh, that's fairly easy and i think you know how to so we'll try to put the three files or the three videos that we generated earlier so let's um, try to add two more pages since we had three files 
and try to just I think the all the videos are here so for part one I think it's this one part two it's this one part three it's this one it's just the same set the videos background Let's see how this plays out. So, all 202, uh, 212 frames uh, combined, it's just 1 minute and 46 seconds. Um, it was uh, tiring, uh, but it was worth it. Uh, I achieved what I aim to accomplish. Okay, um, so last item, if you want to add an audio, I'll try to add uh, one here. But I won't play it since uh, I had a copyright issue last time. And there, uh, you have your file. Um, so we have the three files, it's just a matter of downloading and creating your final file for upload into YouTube. I hope you learned something new and I hope I didn't bore you too much as well. So if you find this um, helpful, please like this video and if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the uh, subscription button. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you uh, for joining and have a nice day ahead.